Good morning, will you stand up? Let's sing together. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? I see lightning. I see lightning, I hear thunder. Something stirring six feet under. Coming back to life again I believe there's about to be another resurrection And I see signs and I see wonders I see bursts of living color Dead things coming back to life again I believe there's about to be another resurrection. Come alive, wake up, sleeper. He is risen, and we are risen with him. And how guys um hmm. today as we get ready to worship and we get ready to kind of settle our hearts in something that is always on the forefront of my mind with this is how do we how do we do this thing where we come into this place 
and we stand together and we sing together and we follow along with lyrics on a screen. And how do we do it from a place that is, that is honest, from a place that's not just doing um, what's expected, what's tradition, the thing that uh, we do every single week, but how instead do we make it an offering that we bring to our God? with hands open and hands before him where we say, uh, Father, I, I just want you to get our praise. And I want these songs to be more than a sing-along experience, as cool as that is, more than just a, a concert, as fun as that is, but that these songs and these lyrics would be this unifying force of promises and claims and things that we believe about his nature and promises that we believe that he has given to us that he will be faithful in. And how do we bring those to him and say, God, I just want every word that I sing from my mouth and every word that I pray, whether out loud or in my mind, and every word as I engage in this sermon, how do I bring something to you that is so real? And I think the answer to how to do that is just to acknowledge it and to come to him in honesty regardless of how you're feeling today, regardless of whether you're feeling super deep and spiritual and, and open right now, or maybe that's not where you're at. But what I have found in my walk with Jesus is when we just come to him and say, God, this is what I have today. In all honesty, this is what I have to bring you. Would you receive it? And would you bring me in? And would you lead me somewhere? And he just, man, he just loves to do that. So let's pray together. Father, we, um, we are bringing you right now ourselves in our honesty, in our simplicity. Because um, Father, there's nothing about us that's hidden to you. You know exactly who we are. You know exactly the types of things that we did yesterday, said yesterday. God, you're so aware of us. We can't hide a thing from you. But God, we don't wanna try to bring some sort of mask to worship or to church to pretend that we're better than we are or to somehow make up a story of, of our holiness. No, God, the thing that makes us holy is you. It's never been our actions in the first place. It's always been a gift from this incredible God who first formed us and made us and created us. And then after we turned our backs on you, you saved us and you bought us back and you gave us your holiness. And so, Father, I just pray that as we sing these next songs, we could do that out of a place of devotion, out of a place of surrender, out of a place of offering. May you get so much praise from this congregation, from this unified body right now as we sing to you. I pray that this would be a fragrant offering that would just bless your heart, God, because you deserve it. You deserve our time. And right now we are just letting go of the distractions and bringing ourselves to you. Amen.
so alive If the mountains bow in reverence so
Father, thank you for inviting us into this time of worship. God, we are grateful for you. We're grateful for that invitation. We're grateful that we have been welcomed in, invited, brought into a family and brought into uh, a people who are known by you and who you have chosen to let us see and get to know and understand more and more of who you are and what your character is. And God, I, I pray that you were so blessed by the songs that we've already sang. And as we get ready to listen to the sermon, help us, God, to, to always desire that when we find a, a part of our lives, maybe an area of our lives that we've made decisions about, maybe made commitments about, but then we hear something in your word that challenges that point of view or that stance. God, help us to be humble enough to listen and to hear and to ask you, God, wait, is this, is this for me? Is this something that you want me to change and to surrender and to bow before you, God? And if that is the case, Lord, we just wanna be so faithful in that. So um, bring us in, God, draw us close, help us to hear your truth. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen, you can have a seat.
would you stand with us? God, we thank you for your goodness, for your faithfulness, for how consistent you are. God, we thank you that we can rest in you. We thank you that you've invited us in to so much, and you've invited us into this Sabbath, this time that is both rest for weary bodies, but it is also a reconnection, a rekindling of a relationship and an intimacy with you. 
And God, I pray that we would um, not just listen to a sermon series and say, yep, yep, that Sabbath stuff is, is good and it, it's true, but then we don't do anything. God, help us to, um, to be intentional, to find time, because if we don't calendar it, if we don't make time for Sabbath, it simply will not happen. The demands of our life, the demands of work and family and just all the things that can become so pressing, they will take over. And so, God, we just want to be um, brought into such a close place with you, a place where we really do surrender and trust you. So, God, would you take all of us, take our very best, and give it to you this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. You can have a seat.